Hey, good night, guys. How are you? Hello, hello. Hello, good night. Good night. Hey, how are you doing today? I'm doing good. What about you, teacher? Oh, pretty good. I'm pretty excited. <laughs> well, today has been really tough, but I'm being sleepy the whole day. <laughs> oh, really? Yes, Sally. Oh, tired, yeah. <laughs> Uh, Cause I've been like I think I've been falling asleep um, at eleven thirty every day oh, really? since like six thirty in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe you need to relax after. Well, uh, yeah, yeah, actually I do. And uh, sometimes during my lunchtime and uh, my work, I'm definitely try to uh, eat like in a half an hour because I have one hour lunch. And uh, yeah. and then I another half an hour, <laughs> I just lay down on the bed, yeah, a little bit, yeah. And after I finish, I I take like a one hour nap just in case, yeah. But it's it's really hard because my pets love to be with me, so actually I cannot sleep a hundred percent because of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It's very hard to have pets. Oh, yes. And and the reason is that they work with me, because they are with me <laughs> the whole day. And also they fall asleep with me. So like, oh my goodness. So they are like my my two bodyguards, if I can say that. Yeah, they are my two bodyguards. So you cannot imagine. Oof. I will send it to you, the uh, WhatsApp picture of my... Um, of my two baby dogs so you can okay. you can um you can double check with them how they are basically uh one of them the the brown color one it, this one is already nine months but the picture is like when he was like uh, i think three months he was a baby by then and but now he's uh bigger than his dad actually his name is uh, Chestnut and the other one is Whiskey. There you go. Let me check if I have that picture and I'm going to send it to you. There you go. Oh, yes. Okay, let me share it with you guys. Mm -hmm. Let me copy this because I sent a picture to my to one of my friends today because he want to see this baby. All righty, let me check. Okay, I sent it to you already. Do you have that? Do you have it, guys? Can you see it? Yes. To the WhatsApp? Let me check. Yes? yes. Right now. All right. So, Mr. Chestnut is the one, the brown hair color one. And whiskey is a black, the pep pep peppermint color is, yeah. is Chestnut's dad. Now, can you imagine? Chestnut look like so cute, right? With the, you know how to say corbatin in English? Yeah? Bow tie? No. Bow tie? I will write it right now. Um, bow tie? Corbatin in English, bow tie? Um, and now just uh, it was really small, but now let me send it to you how he is right now. Let me just a couple of minutes because now he's bigger. Do you like him, by the way? Oh, yes, I know they're like beautiful. Oh, yes, they are, <laughs> and but they're really crazy as well. Okay, now let me send it to you how Chestnut is right now. He's bigger, right? <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, it's a French one. No, actually, it's, um, it's a combination between uh, French, yes, and yeah. Maltese. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. And whiskey is a combination between Terrier and a Schnauzer. Okay. But whiskey is really smart. A small one. Yeah, it's you can. Yeah, 
the dad is smaller than the son. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But uh, Whiskey is really, really smart. Uh, he understands a lot of commands. And even though I speak to him in English and I speak in French and he understands, can you imagine? <laughs> That's nice. That's nice. Yeah, there's, I will share one right now, one command with you. I send it through the chat right now. That is a French word. You pronounce it oniva. And that means, let me give, let you know what does it mean in English. That means let's go. Let's go. Oniva, let's go. So they do understand it. Mm -hmm. They understand but worse. They understand uh, three languages actually. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. And trying to teach them as well a lot of commands. Yeah. And Whiskey is really, really smart. You cannot imagine. Yeah. Mm. He's not intelligent, right? But he's smart. He's very good. Okay. Hey, Amilcar. Hey, look at Amilcar right now. Look at his pillow. He's just in a purple pillow today. Oh my God. Isn't it amazing? He looks so relaxed today. I wish I could be you, Amilcar. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I wish I could be you. Yeah. Yeah, that is because I am feeling a little pain in my back. Oh, really? But yeah. it's what, what, what? The upper part or the lower part of your back? Uh, it's here. Oh, here over the it's oh the like, cervicals. It's like my neck. Oh, the cervicals. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, maybe you can do like um I don't know no massage because you need to be careful when you touch yeah. that. But you could put some eyes maybe. Yeah, I could. Yeah, because no, I yeah. didn't like I don't like the massage. Yeah. No, it's not necessary. Just if you have like an ointment, you know what ointment is? Unguento, ointment, yeah? Yeah. Okay, you can put like something here, just put it yourself. And then there is like a blue ice, um, yellow azul, blue ice, right? That's yeah, a medicine, I know. medical one. So, so you can put it here if you if if it's good for you. But if, if it's really uh, hard for you, you can put like a, to like a towel here. And then yeah. on top of the towel, you put a, a blue uh, eyes. And that helps a lot. You cannot imagine. Yeah, even I, I am going to uh, take a pill later. Is it really hard? Is it, is it really painful? Well, it's a little. Why you don't do like, a, like an exercise like this? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I will do it later. Like that? And maybe like this? That yeah. would be, that would be really good. Yeah, I, maybe you won't be able to do it uh, like this, right? Because right now it's pained, but it will help a lot. I, I only do this when I say I don't know. <laughs> yeah, but you do this and then again like books like that. Yeah, and yeah. then here, 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 and then you can do this, and then in the opposite way, and that will helps a lot. I, I I have a backup problem, so basically those are the exercises that my therapist gave it to me and that helps a lot because um i do work from seven to five and basically i need to like be in front of a computer can you imagine being like from seven to five sitting after that oh your back hurts right so i need to do some like stone stretch ups so that helps me a lot that you cannot imagine but that my problem is not the upper part my problem is the lower part um. yeah that's my problem I mean, that hurts a lot. But now with those exercises, basically that I have improved a lot that you cannot imagine. A lot. And of course, right? <laughs> you need to control your weight, right? <laughs> your movements and everything, right? Mm -hmm. So I, I, I don't, I have to lose weight and that helps me a lot as well. I have lost weight, but I need to lose more weight. So, well, yeah, even I lost 15 pounds. 15 pounds? Congratulations, yeah. my friend. Yeah, because I had a, a surgery in my mouth. Ooh, okay. And I didn't eat anything. <gasps> well, I, 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 maybe you drink something, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. But it does, does something to do with the wisdom teeth, no? Yeah, it was the... Um, the wisdom. The wisdom. molar. 
the wisdom teeth. Yes. Yep. Ooh, that hurts. That had happens yeah. to me. I don't have them anymore. Yes. <laughs> so I know how it is. Oh, and I'm so happy that even though you feel bad, Amilcar, you are here. And that shows yeah. your commitment. Yeah, you're willing to learn. You're willing to participate. So I'm so happy to see you. Okay. Okay. Thank just you. relax. Okay. Don't worry. Everything's going yeah. to be fine. <laughs> We're going to have so much fun. But I'm going to ask you. Okay. <laughs> I'm not just kidding. Hey, okay. Okay. Yes. Neuromuscular. Ne neuromuscular bandages are good for the pain. Really? Oh, you can. Okay. Listen. Yes. Okay. Yes, teacher. I had a I had a pain in my back, mm -hmm. and that helping. Yes. Oh, the and then and you shot it, or you just put it. No, put it. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Like a bandage. Bandage. Oh, yes. that's amazing. Yes. Okay, thank you. So, hey, you know what? Later on, if you can send that information through the chat, we're going to appreciate that. Okay. All righty. Oh my God! Look who up here, Maria Quintanilla. I love. Hey, I love your earrings, girl. I love it. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I love it. You look nice with the long earrings. I like it. Yes, yes. <laughs> oh, oh my God, she's so modern. She said, yes, yes, I know. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry, I'm late. I mm -hmm. problem with the internet. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. <laughs> Hopefully that's never happened again. No, just kidding. <laughs> no, 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 no. I understand. Yeah. Sometimes we do have an internet issue and it's not something that, yes. we, that we can control. Okay. Yes. So, so that's okay. No problem. Oh my God. I love your nails, by the way. Oh my I, God. I, I, of course. Oh, 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 oh no. Complete. Oh, yeah, completely. You know, yeah. Well, the makeup, but that's okay. You look natural. So that's amazing. There you go. Maybe she will have like, a, <clears throat> I don't know. A, some, a date with her husband after the class? We don't know, right? Maybe, maybe. Maybe. That, that yes. could be a really, really good reason. Okay, I like it. Very good. Thank you. Okay. I'm sorry, Amilka. Sorry, Jose. Sorry, Alain. Sorry, Carla. Sorry, Umberto. Sorry, Fernanda. But this is a girl thing, you know? That's a girl thing. So I'm apologizing. You need to get used to it. I'm apologizing. Yeah, Umberto is already, already get used to it, right? I know that, man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the teacher is so crazy today. Yes, I am. <laughs> okay, tell me something, boys and girls. Hey, did you do your homework, by the way? Uh, uh, uh. Why is everybody silence right now? I don't have, I don't know. Wait. Huh? Did you do your homework, guys? Yes? Yes, we did it. Oh my God. Okay, Umberto. So if you want to participate, that would be amazing. Go ahead. It's your turn, my man. Go. <laughs> oh my God. I love this kid because he always wants to participate. Go ahead, sir. All right. Hey, guys, remember what it was the homework about? Can somebody uh, make a refresh about it? Yeah. What was the homework about? Uh huh. Okay. I, may, I make a review about passive voice. All righty, very good. Okay. Uh huh. Make a review of the passive voice. Hey guys, did you practice by any chance the tongue twister that I sent it to you yesterday? Yeah. Was it easy? No. No. Easy. Right. <laughs> Not all right. And that was slow. <laughs> but you know what? Every day I will send it to you a tangle to serve with a different letter of the alphabet. Okay. So you can practice that pronunciation and the intonation because um, uh, we have uh, different words with T, for example. Okay. I think well, I'm going to send it to you tomorrow. Let me check um, with, um, with P as in Papa. Okay. Today with P as in Papa. Some of them some of them you said ah they are shorter but even though they are short tongue twister they're hard to pronounce okay so that's why i'm sending it to you yeah very good and i will send it to you another link so you can practice your listening especially guys because i know that some of you uh, on your word you have to send messages right you have to um, emails you have to contact somebody or you have to get messages from somebody else right or you have to make an appointment, etc. So it's really important that you get used to it, how to, for example, take a note when somebody left a message for you or for somebody else, okay? How to write emails, 
how to um, how write phone numbers, etc. So I'm going to send it to you that link after this class, okay? So you can practice. But this link is going to have a different type of accent, the person who's going to say it, okay? So that's really nice. <laughs> You're going to remember me when you listen that link, okay? <laughs> All righty, very good. So yesterday, guys, we have finished the passive with by, right? Is that correct? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Do you remember that with passive with vibe, we use a simple past, right? And when we transform the active voice and the passive voice in this in the passive with vibe, we use the past of the verb to be plus the past participle of the verbs. Okay. Now we're going to uh, double check something just to introduce to this new topic, which in this case is going to be passive, but guess what? Without by. Yes, it, it does exist actually. And it has a different function. And it uses different verb tense. It doesn't use past. Actually guys, use present. Simple present, can you imagine? Ooh, is that possible? Yes, it is. And Alain's like, what are you talking about, teacher? Are you talking about? Yeah, you will see it, man. You will see it. Don't worry. Ah, but I I remember that um I asked you guys to do this homework for me before we move on. Let me share right now my screen because the teacher always remembers the homework. Hmm. Always, guys. Uh huh. All right. This is the homework, right? Am I right? Hello, yes, hello, yes, yes, right, uh -huh, it is, right, <laughs> okay, guys, so you were supposed to fill it in, uh, these spaces, with the information, right, and so, using the passive voice, so, uh, 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 let me check, who's going to help me, okay, Humberto, I remember you, I'm sorry, but as the first name that came up to my mind, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, so the first uh, sentence, actually, or the first uh, line actually only has the singer, which in this case is Lady Gaga, but you need to fill it in and complete the information with son and with sin. So what's the song that you have? A poker Face. Poker, poker Face. Poker Face was singer by Lady Gaga. Aha, uh -huh. okay guys, so what do you, okay, so do me a favor. Can you please say that information into passive? Can you use a passive with that? Uh, La Lady Gaga uh -huh. uh, was sing uh -huh. uh, poker face. Are you sure? Remember that with passive, we use the preposition by. Okay? By. Yeah, so in yeah. this case, what is more important? Who sing it or what was the, the name the song that that person sing? The person I'm, I think. Hey, hey, are you sure? The name of the song. Exactly the name of the song. So you can start with the poker face and then you continue. Mm. Uh -huh. The po poker face was sing it by Lady Gaga. Aha, uh -huh. okay, that is almost perfect. But remember that was is okay, but what is the past participle of sing, guys? Ah, uh, sings. Mm-hmm, aha, uh -huh. help me, please. Are you sure? Sing, song? Uh-uh, song. Song, very song. good, song. past participle. So now that you already know the answer, Mr. Umberto, do it again. Book your phrase. Poker Face What's On by Lady Gaga. Very good. That's my man. Woo -hoo. Excellent job, sir. Give me dough five. Excellent. <laughs> Number two. Uh, Noemi. Very good. Okay. I know that you love painting and do uh, things with your hands, so that's why. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The screen was painted by Edward Munch. Hey, is it true or is it false, guys? What do you think? True, I think. Aha. Uh -huh. hey, anybody else? You said the screen, right, Noemi? Yeah, yeah. Okay. And that is like a painting, Noemi? Is the name of a pain or what? It's the name of the pain. Ah, you see, guys? <laughs> okay, so is it true or is it false, guys? I think they don't know more more about um, uh, art, Noemi. That's what I think. 
Yes, right. Okay. Oops, everybody, silence. Okay, Noemi, can you please be so kind to give us the answer, if it's true or false? It's true. Uh -huh. it's true. I, I know. <laughs> okay, very good. Good job, Noemi. Ah, what about number three? Who is romantic here? Let me check. Mm, ah, okay. <clears throat> Fernando. <laughs> Fernando, Romeo, and Juliet. Okay. Mr. Fernando in Surbincon. Fernando. I think Fernando has a problem. With Hello, that. teacher. Yes, okay, Fernando. Okay, Fernando, number three. Teacher, I, I had a I mm -hmm. I had a problem with the homework. Ah, okay. I was not in the WhatsApp group. Aha. Uh -huh. But why you were not? Because you didn't click on the link. Okay, but don't worry. Can you see my computer right now, Fernando? Okay. Okay. So I want you to uh, be yes. here. Okay, do me a favor. The letter, the number three, Romeo and Juliet. That's the name of the play or la obra. Okay, so you need to use this verb, right, in past participle. What is the past participle, right, guys? What? Mm -hmm. oh. Written. Okay, so if I'm talking about Romeo and Juliet, that is a play, that is a book, what I need to put here, help. Mr. Fernando. Was written. Was what? Was written. Was, was written. written. By, by who? William Shakespeare. Uh, mm -hmm. William Shakespeare. Romeo, and, Romeo and Juliet was written by, by Shakespeare. William Shakespeare. By William Shakespeare. <laughs> by William Shakespeare. Uh, Shakespeare. Shakespeare. Yes. No, no, like Shakespeare. <laughs> yeah. okay? No, like Shakespeare. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. Yes, yeah. <laughs> is it true or is it false, guys? What it's do you true. think? Is it true? Okay. Okay, this is hard. This is hard because number four doesn't have a, any information. Doesn't have move information, mm -hmm. direct and director. So you need to think, okay? Thank you, Carlitos. Go ahead, Carlitos. What do you have for us in number four? Uh, hi, teacher. Um, hi, hi, hi. <laughs> it's very difficult. I know, um, I know. Just invent. And, and we need to guess if it's true or false. Um, the Avenger movie mm -hmm. uh, was direct. Direct or directed? By directed. Uh -huh. uh, by, uh, let me check. I remember an, an Anthony Russo, I think. Anthony is, Russo, uh, okay. Hey. One, one of the directors from the movie. Ah, uh, you said the Avengers? Yes. Ah, okay, guys, is it true or is it false? What did Carlito said? Okay. I don't, I don't know. You don't know? <laughs> okay, okay. Do me a favor, raise your hand who said it is true. You know, raise your hand who said it's false. I think they don't know Carlitos. Uh, the, the, the movie teacher has three directors. Three, three directors, directors. Three, three uh, di directors. Uh -huh. Anthony Ro Russo was one of them. One, one okay, of them. you know what? I think that my little students, they, do, they don't have time <laughs> to watch TV. Well, it's really weird because they should have Netflix, right, guys? Uh huh. Oh, mm hmm. Okay, well, okay, very good. Very good job, Carlitos. Okay, number five. Alain, what about you? Who, can you tell me something about number five? Also, was really hard. I didn't make my homework, teacher. Uh, no, use your <laughs> but imagination. I will try, okay? Yes, just do your best. Go ahead. He's talking about books. Um... About book, yes. And you can use the, the, the verb. Right, but in past participle, which is written, okay? Written. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Any book, any book. I use Romeo and Juliet. Okay, okay, do, okay. Yeah. Eight, 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 I know you just <laughs> yeah, L. I don't know, you can say- Romeo and Juliet was written mm -hmm. by- Written. William Shakespeare. Ah, oh, come on, it's already there. Use your imagination, Alan. <laughs> You can say Pride and Prejudice, for example. 
I don't have time to read. <laughs> I don't have time to read. Okay, and you can like choose another book. I don't know. Maybe Tarzan. I don't know. Tarzan. Yes. Was Harry written. Potter. Uh -huh. okay, I don't Harry know. Potter, but I don't know who I, in, Harry Potter. De la Mancha. Uh -huh. Invent. Invent. Ah. Okay, Read the Don Harry Quixote. Potter book uh -huh. was written by. Was written. Written by. A, you can mention any, anything, anybody. Cantinflas, by, you can say like that, and that's by, okay. By Pablo. By you. <laughs> by me, yeah. yeah. You, Bukele. <laughs> okay, okay. Is it true or false, guys? <laughs> that is so true. Totally, uh, totally false. Totally false. <laughs> <laughs> that was easy, Elaine. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> and last but not least, number six is going to be my big thing. Sorry, my participant may apologize. Olguita, thank you so much. I know that you want to participate, so go ahead. Hi, um, the, how do you say bombillo? I don't know. How do you say bombillo, guys? Bombillo. Uh -huh. I know. I how don't do you remember say? in this moment. How do you uh, say it? Could be a spotlight. A spotlight could be. Spotlight. There's another a way spotlight. to say that. Mm -hmm. Maybe the spotlight uh -huh. was invented by Thomas Alva Edison. Uh oh, is it true or is it false, guys? <laughs> True. Yes, it's true. true. Now, of course, it's true. Well done, excellent job. But I know that some of you doesn't know anything about art, right? And anything about books. Oh my goodness, what's going on with you, ah, teacher? Because you didn't ask me, say Patricia, but I know a lot about arts and I know a lot about books. You know. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. I but recommend that book. You, uh, you see Noemi. Noemi looks like she loves to read. Yes, yes, I like mm -hmm. to, to read. Yeah. I recommend uh, Living to Tell the Tale. Ooh. And is, is it written by who? Uh, Gabriel Which Garcia Marquez. Gabriel Garcia Marquez. Oh, yes, I love them. I love mm -hmm. him. I love him so much. It's a good book. Yeah, he's the, you think, the biggest representative, right, of the, let me check, a real, a magic realism in Latin yeah. America, right? Yeah. 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 I love uh, Gabriel Garcia Marker books. I love them a lot. I love Me him. Too. Yeah, because he's he starts with something that it was. Hey, what had happened here? How you arrived to this point? And you need to go back to understand what was happening. Yeah, I love him very much. Mm. Uh, I also love Laurie King as well. I used to read. Ah. Yeah, I read more English than Spanish, but I love it as well. And there's another one. Oh, what's the name? Okay, I'm going to uh, think about it, and I will send it to you, um, uh, the name of an author, who can also, you can read it in English. Yeah. She has a lot of books, but the books are around 200 and 300 pages, okay? <laughs> so it takes time, but it's really important because the more you read, the more you increase your vocabulary. Okay, so that's yeah. really, really important. All righty, very good. Okay, hey, congratulations, guys. Yeah, I'm so proud of you that you make, you broke my heart. Oh, very good. Okay, Melvin, how are you? Hi, welcome Hi. to the jungle. Sorry, welcome to the class. Fine, thank you. <laughs> Very good. Okay, guys. So we already practiced a double check our homework. Okay. I have to congratulate all of you because you have done a tremendous job. So I'm so happy. And basically, uh, you understand now, right, how you can use the passive with buy. Okay. That is simple, right? As long, guys, as you remember, or, or I think you need to like uh, focus or double check about birds, right? Because birds, we tended up to um, do not remember them, especially the irregular ones, okay? The irregulars, I think that are more difficult than regulars, because regulars, most of the time, you just put the ED at the end, and that's it. The pronunciation is quite different. But the irregular birds, ooh, we have a lot. And a lot, that means a lot, guys, okay? So I will try to see if I can send you a link where you can. I think I, I, I sent to some of you in the past model uh, some irregular verse. Did I or I didn't, guys? Do you remember? No? 
I didn't nope. do it? No? Okay. Okay, so in this case, I'm going, thank you, Helen. I'm going to make okay. a, a research and try to send it to you. I will try to see if I can find um, the meaning in Spanish. I will try, okay? But if not, you just have to take it in English, okay? And then you, you will try to, to get used to it and also remember how to write it, okay? Because it's different to pronounce it than to write it, okay? Very good. Okay, guys, so <clears throat> let's move on. Let's continue. Okay, bear with me for a couple of minutes. I need to pop it up, my information. There you go. Okay. Mm -hmm. In this case, guys, we will start with speaking because today we're going to practice the speaking skill and we have just tried and we already started speaking. But I want to share right now my screen with you because I'm going, I want you to practice a conversation and then we're going to simulate something, okay? <laughs> so bear with me for a couple of minutes. Do me a favor. Can you check or can you see my computer right now? Is it clear, the image, guys? Yeah, for me. Yes, I guess. Yes, clearly. Is it clear? Okay. Yes. Okay. So the conversation, what's the name of the conversation, Melvin? I need some information. Exactly. I need some information. Guys, this is something that everybody has done. When you, for example, would like to go to a specific place, specific country, or a specific town, or you need to ask information, right, about, about that place. So you will have an idea. Okay, do me a favor. Uh, how many of you have the change to travel to another country? Yes? How many of you? Can you raise yeah. my hand? Okay. Uh, I have uh, Maria, Alain, who else? Melvin, Humberto? No. Me. Yeah, Adela, yes. Helen, okay. Noemi, okay. Okay, so guys, uh, we have to, for example, when we're trying to, to move to another country just for fun, for vacation, or for business purposes, uh, we have to call, right? especially to a travel agency. We need to ask about many things, about the currency. Currency is the money, the money that yeah. they use it, right? Yeah. If, we, if there's like a different changes, right? Between dollar and the money that they use it. What kind of language do they speak there, etc. right? So today um, we're going to practice this dialogue and this dialogue will help us not only to have more vocabulary, or to get to know how to ask for information, but at the same time, it will help us to introduce our topic for today, which in this case is passive without buy. Okay, cool. First big team, sorry, not <coughs> first volunteers. All righty, okay. Uh, Amilcar, do you feel good to, uh, to talk today? Yes, to practice? Yeah, I'm okay. Okay, cool. So you're going to be my first, <laughs> big, big, sorry, my first participant. And uh, let me double check. You look so interesting about that. Thank you, Maria Quintanilla. That's amazing for you. Yeah, yeah, good. Okay, so we're going to listen to these two guys first, and then we're going to come back together and pick another <coughs> participants. Okay, very good. So... <laughs> <laughs> so allow me one moment. Let me share right now my screen. <laughs> there you go. Okay, Maria, you're going to be Kelly. Okay. And John, you're, of course, I'm Milka, you're going to be John. Okay, could you please be so kind to a start? Okay. Hello. Oh, hello. I need some information. What currency is used in the European Union? Where? The European Union. I think the euro is used in most of Europe. All right. And it is English is spoken much there? I really have no idea. Ah, well, what about credit cards? Are they accepted everywhere? How will I know? Well, you're a travel agent, aren't you? What? This is a hair salon. You have the wrong number. Okay, very good. Okay, now, excellent, not too bad. <laughs> but do me a favor. Okay, you know what? I, I loved the, the most of the conversation. It was really nice. I loved your, Amilcar, congratulations for the intonation of the questions. Very good. Thank and you. also, Maria, 
great job because you say like, what he's talking about? Yeah, so basically that was a really great intonation, but do me a favor. Now guys, I want you to be more fluent. More fluent okay. and don't like struggle, okay? Don't struggle, okay? Do your best, okay? So it will be second chance. And this time, imagine, Maria, that you work in a hair salon. Imagine that. And you receive a call for, uh, for this guy named uh, John by real name Amilcar. And you said, what this guy is talking about? Who's him, by the way? What? Okay. Yeah. So try to like get into the corridors and move on. Okay. Allow me just a couple of minutes. Let me go back and... Okay. Action. Go ahead. Hello. Oh, hello. I need some information. What currency is used in the European Union? Where? The European Union. I think the Europe is used in most of Europe. All right. And it is English spoken much there? I really have no idea. Oh, well, what about credit cards? Are they accepted everywhere? How will I know? Well, you're a travel agent, aren't you? What? This is a hair salon. You have to grant number. Okay, very good. Okay, excellent. Excellent, y'all. Now, guys, do me a favor. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to <laughs> no. be really bad. Yes. No more favor. <laughs> hey, yes. Okay, very good. Okay, you know, I love it. Okay, and now it's going to be, hey, Ana Mercedes, good night. Mm -hmm. hey, good night. Welcome to the jungle. Sorry, welcome to the class. <laughs> We're having so much fun right now. Okay, so I want you to do me a favor. Last time, and this time, guys, do you have your cell phone handy? Do you have your cell phone handy? Handy is a la mano, handy. All right. Yes? Okay. Yes. So now do me a favor. Okay, hopefully you remember not the whole uh, dialogue, but some information, okay? <laughs> and try to do it like in a live way, okay? Okay, so I think it's going to be, who's going to start? Amilka, right? No, oh, me. No, you, okay. Uh -huh. Okay, yeah, okay, so you can start and also Amilka will use his cell phone, okay? Oh. oh my okay. god. Uh -huh. Okay, do me a favor. I'm going to be nice. I'm going to be nice. So, okay, I'm going to be nice. Okay. This is what I'm gonna do. I will send the, the uh, screenshot to the WhatsApp so everybody has it. Okay. 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 Teachers not like what? Okay. And in the meantime, guys, I will pick another pair practice that okay so be ready Patty, because you're going to participate okay and also umberto okay you're going to be the next victim sorry the next participants okay <laughs> so let me just a couple of minutes there you go let me check there you go okay i have it here in some place ah uh, yes that's what i have <laughs> you will love this one, so bear with me for a couple of minutes. And just let me know, guys, as soon as you're able to have it on the WhatsApp, okay? Please. Okay, there you go. Guys, did you get it? Yes. Yeah, cool. Okay, so you already have it there. Ah. Okay, okay, you can, guys, do, I will do something. Uh, Maria and Amilcar, take time to read it by yourself. Mm -hmm. when I fi and then I'm going to ask one pair more to practice the conversation. And then when I finish with them, I will come back with you. <laughs> okay, cool. Okay, Patty and Humberto. You can use your cell phone if you wanted to. No, I'm just kidding. I'm going to share right now. <laughs> okay. I'm going to share right now my screen with you, okay? And you're going to do exactly the same thing that Maria and Amilcar did, okay? Okay, Umberto, you're going to be John. And of course, Patty, you're going to be the hair salon guy. Girl, sorry. So let me just a couple of minutes. Let me share right now my screen. All right, okay, there you go. Tell me if you are able to see it. Are you able to see it, guys? Yes? Yes. Okay. yes. Very good. Patty, action, please. <laughs> I'm okay. Hello. Oh, hello. hello. 
I need some information. What currency is used to European Union? Where? The, U the European Union. I think the Europe is used as most of Europe. All right. And is English spoken much there? And I already have I no idea. Uh, well, what about credit cards? Are they accepted everywhere? How, how well I know? Well, you're a travel annual, aren't you? What? This is higher salon. You have a wrong number. Very good. Good intonation, Patty. Excellent. Great job, guys. Woohoo! Next participants. Uh, Melvin, what about with uh, Maria, but no, oh, no Maria Kitasillas? I want Maria Colindres, please, if you don't mind. It's your turn, girl. Go ahead. Rocket. All right. Go ahead. Hello. Hello. Oh, hello. I need some information. What currency is using in the European Union? Where? The European Union. <laughs> I think the Europe is used most of Europe. All right. And in English, is spoken much there? I really have no idea. Oh, well, what about credit cards? Are they accepted everywhere? How will I know? Well, you're a travel agent, aren't you? What? This is hair salon. You have the, you have the wrong number. <laughs> Very good, excellent. Excellent, Helen. You got into the character. Congratulations, Maria. Very good, Maria. Okay. Thank you. Very good, Melvin. And last but not least, um, let me check. Um, Helen, can you please be so kind to practice with uh, with Fernando? Okay. Okay, go ahead, Helen. Helen, Helen, Helen. Are you there? I'm here, I'm here. I'm here. Okay, cool, cool. Go ahead. Hello. Oh, hello. I need some information. What currency is used in the European Union? Where? The European Union. I think the euro is used in the most of Europe. All right. And is English spoken much, much, much there? I really have no idea. Oh, well, what about credit cards? Are they accepted? Everywhere. How will I know? Well, you a travel agent, aren't you? What? This is a hair salon. You have mouse the wrong number. Yay, very good. Oh, guys, I love it. You got into the character. Congratulations. <laughs> Bravo. Woohoo. Yeah, okay, guys. Now we just need to like uh, just pull or like um or develop a little bit of the pronunciation of some words, okay? So do me a favor, repeat after me this the first word, currency. 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 Is, currency. is, an, is currency. another word, guys, to, to talk about what type of money, okay? Currency. 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 Yes, very good. Currency. Is used. Is used. Is used. Is used. European Union. European Union. European Union. European Union. Euro. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. Spoken. Spoken. Okay. Okay. This is, I'm going to help you with this expression because you need to do it one together. I really have no idea. I really, I really have, have no idea. idea. I have no idea. I really have no idea. Now you say, huh. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> exactly. Very good, Amy. You got it. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, what about credit cards? What about what credit, about credit, 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 credit cards? cards? Are they accepted everywhere? Are they Are accepted, they accepted, accepted everywhere? everywhere? Accepted everywhere. How would I know? How would I know? Well, 
Well, well, you're a travel agent, aren't you? You're a travel agent, aren't you? Aren't you? What? 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 This is a hair salon. You have the wrong number. This is a hair salon. Hair salon. Hair salon. You have the wrong number. The wrong number. Mm -hmm. You can say you you have the wrong number. Or you can you can you have the wrong number. <laughs> yeah, either or number. Number. The wrong number. Number. Yeah. Yeah. Either or is fine. Okay. Thank you so much. You had plenty of time to practice, Maria. <laughs> and I'm Milgar. You see. The teacher has a good memory. Okay, and then we're going to come back to the dialogue because I want you guys to focus on some expressions. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So, asking for information, imagining the dialogue. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, and scenario number one, action plans. Go ahead. Okay. Hello. Hello. Amilka, you don't have your microphone on. I'm sorry. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, okay. Asking for information and scenario number two, action. Go ahead. <laughs> Hello. Hello. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay. Ask you for information and scenario number three. Action. Yeah. Go okay. ahead. <laughs> All right. Hello. Hello. I need some information. What currency is used in the European Union? Where? The European Union. I think the Europe is used in most of Europe. All right. And is it English spoken much there? I really have no idea. All right. Um, how, well, what about credit cards? Are they accepted everywhere? How will I know? Well, you're a travel agent, are you? What? This is a hair style. <laughs> you have a wrong number. Yeah, bro, excellent. You know what? I love Maria's first like, what? <laughs> Yeah, you really got into the character, girl. Yeah, excellent job. Very good, guys. You see? <laughs> excellent. I'm so proud of you. You know what? I love your spe your uh, facial expression. Like, what are these guys talking about? Right? Yeah. He's, I think he's crazy, by the way. Yeah, yeah. Very good. Excellent job. <clears throat> okay, one more participant. Jose, would you like to try it? <laughs> Ah uh, no, I'm just kidding. Yes, I would like. Okay, I'm going. It's going to be Jose and who else? Adela, would you like to try with Jose? Okay. But I want to see your face, Adela. Okay, thank you. Okay, Adela, you start. Okay. Hello. Oh, hello. I need some information. What currency is in the U European Union? Wow. Where? The European Union. I think the euro is using the most of Europe. All yeah. right. And is English spoken much there? I really, I, I really have no idea. Oh, well, what about credit cards? Are they accepted everywhere? How do I know? Well, you are a travel agent, uh, aren't you? What? This? It's a hair salon. You have the wrong number. Very good. What? <laughs> Excellent job. You know what? Oh, Adela, you had a, a customer who has a pretty sexy voice, by the way. Wow. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. Excellent job, guys. Very good. Okay. Tomorrow I will ask uh, another volunteers. Okay. Yeah. The, so be prepared. And this party is like, yay. <laughs> okay. So bear with me because I need to go back to the, um, basically <clears throat> to the image of the dialogue for some reason. So bear with me for a moment. Oh, yeah. Yes, that's the one that I need. Okay, guys. 
take a look at some expressions that I want you to focus on right now. Um, this one, you see, is used, right? Is used in the European Union. This is one. Um, used. We have another one here, right? The, I think the euro is used in most Europe. And also you have here a question, right, guys? Is English spoken much there? Okay, much there. Uh -huh. Also, you have, are they accepted everywhere, right? We're talking about our credit cards, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, take a look at these expressions. We have this one, right? This is the verb to be. Is that right? Yes. Mm -hmm. and of course, it's part of, of a question, a WS question. But take a look. This is another verb. Is it in present or is it in past? Past. Mm -hmm. Past. Okay. But you use the verb to be, right? In present tense. Okay. What about this? This is a question. This is a just no question. And we know because we're using with is, right? At the beginning. But you see, we have the with the question, we use the is at the beginning, then we have the subject, which in this case is English. But what happened with the other verb that we're using? Spoken. What is the spoken? What is the spoken? Is it present, past, or past participle? Past, past, past participle. Past uh -huh. participle. Or, or which verb? Speak. Speak. It speaks. So it's, it's really interesting, right, that we're using verb to be in present uh, as an auxiliary, and the main verb we're using in participle. That's amazing. And you see, and guys, speak, spoke, spoken. This is regular or irregular verb? Irregular. 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 What about this? Accepted. Accepted. Is it regular, regular. or irregular? Regular. Regular verb. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Okay, why I want you guys to have that in your mind? Because when we are we're going to talk about this, guys, if you have noticed in this dialogue, you have so much fun, yes, and I'm so happy about that. But also you you didn't know that you used the passive without by. And without by, you use it in present tense. In this case, present tense, verb to be, as a, an auxiliary verb. But the second verb, it has to be in participle. Isn't it amazing? Wow, right? It's like, doesn't follow any rules, if you can see that. <laughs> and it's really interesting. But you will get to know how you use it. It's really easy. But I think it will be a little bit complicated because passive with by, by, with by, or is a little bit easy. But without it, it's a little bit confused. So I want you guys to like pay attention and focus on that. And I will share with you really quickly. <laughs> okay, they're asking me if everything is okay. And yes, we're fine. We're fine, right, guys? <laughs> Hopefully, we continue like that way. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Uh, I'm going to ask you to, to help me right now. Let me check. Yes, uh, Alain. I'm going to ask Alain to help me read. Uh, there you go. Can you see it, guys? Yes? Cool. Yes or no? Yes. Yeah. Yes, yes, Very good. Okay, do me a favor, Alain. Can you please be so kind to read for me the title? Passive without buy, simple present. Mm -hmm. The passive without buy, guys, we use the simple present tense. Okay, but the simple present, how we confirm in this passive? We use it with the present of be, which in this case, guys, what is the present of be? Is are and am right if oh, I'm talking about um, yes I is am um, exactly I is are exactly plus the past participle of the verbs guys so do you see that's why it's really important that you refresh about the verbs right N especially the the irregular ones okay guys so now that we already know that let's continue let's move on all righty. I just want you guys to do me a favor and try to read the active one. Who can help me read it? Okay, thank you so much, uh, Helen. Go ahead, please. Can you please be so kind to read for me the first sentence? Okay. They use the euro in the most of Europe. Okay. 
Very good. In the first sentence, guys, they use the euro in most of Europe, okay? Is it in present? Yes. Yes. Or yes. yes. How do we know? Because of the verb, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yes. yes. Okay. How can we transform the same sentence in passive? There you go. Can you please continue to read it for me, uh, Helen? The passive way? Okay. The euro is used in the mass of Europe. The, the, the euro Oops. is used. Yeah, yes. used <laughs> in the mass of Europe. Yes. Very good. Excellent. So, guys, in the active way, if you can see, we do not use the bird to be here. But in the passive way, we use it. We use the bird to be in the past participle of the verb. Okay. In this case, this is regular verb. So we just added the D, right, at the end of the word. Okay? okay. Easy peasy queasy, right, guys? Yeah, I know no. that. Yes, yeah. it is. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, continue. Patty, do me a favor. Can you please be so kind to read for me the second sentence? Okay. They speak English in many Europe countries. Okay, they speak English in many Europe countries. You see, guys, the verb speak in present, speak. right? And what is the, the subject? They. They. They could be the people, right? Oh. Anybody. Okay. So how can I say exactly the same thing, but using the passive? Can you please continue reading, Patty? The passive way. Okay. Yes, English is spoken in many Euro European European countries. European. European no, countries. No, no European, but the European. 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 Very countries. good. Very good. So guys, okay. take take a look at this at this second sentence. Because in the active sentence, they speak English in many European countries, right? In here, guys, yeah. the, the subject is a is a group of people, right? I don't know how many. But in the spacy way, you, what is important? It is in important English, English exactly. So we said that the, the language English is spoken in many European countries. So the main idea is that I want you to pay attention that that language is spoken in many countries, in this case, in many European countries. So guys, if I'm talking about English, is it singular or plural? Singular in English. Are you sure English is plural? It's singular. No, it's singular. 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 It's singular, exactly. So, and if I follow the rule, the B plus past participle, I'm going to use the verb to be is, right? And what is the past participle of a speak? Spoken. Spoken. Very good job. Okay, the last one, Noemi, can you please read yes. for me the last one, please? Okay, they, they manufacture a lot of cars in Europe. Mm -hmm. Okay, so again, guys, we're talking about people that manufacture a lot of cars in Europe, right? Okay, we're talking about European people in this case. Okay, now tell me how you construct it in the passive way. Continue, please, Noemi. A lot of cars are manufactured in Europe. Very good. You see, in the passive way, what I understand is that you don't forget that the cars, right? The cars are the main important thing here in the passive way. The cars, or a lot of cars, are manufactured in Europe, okay? So you understand, guys, what we're talking about? Is it easy? Yes, teacher. Yeah, right? Easy, peasy, queasy. Okay, guys. So do me a favor. Let's, um, I'm going to send this right now for, uh, for you to practice, okay? Uh, okay. Yeah, okay, but we can practice right now. We can say it right now. We can do it right now. Okay, because I'm going to send it to you something else for homework, okay? Okay, guys. Yes, sir. Yes? I have a question. Who has a question? Um, Who? I, Anita! Is this um, homework? No, is that is it? not a homework. We're going to do it right now. Uh, this um, it is the practice in the platform. Ah, yes, I know what happened. We have problems with the server, 
But hopefully mm. they ah no don't do that Anita. <laughs> don't do it. I will help you, okay? I will I know I understand nothing, nothing. You don't understand I anything. Didn't say, uh, anything. I um write mm -hmm. I think okay shake mm -hmm. ten Oh, no, don't worry, Anita. Okay, I will try to get in touch with you, okay, later on. Not today because it's going to be late night, but tomorrow and I will help you, okay? I'm not going okay. to give you the answers. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I will help you. I will help you uh, how you can do it, okay? And I will clarify the doubts that you have, okay? Okay, don't worry, thank Anita. you. You're welcome, my pleasure. That's what I'm here, to give you a hand, okay? We're a team, guys. We're a team. We're going to work together. Okay, guys, so let's go back to business. <laughs> okay, do me a favor. Let me know if you see it, guys. Let me share right on my screen. There you go. Okay, cool. Guys, we need to fill it in. Okay, we have one, two, three, four. This is a dialogue, basically. Or, or it's, it's not a dialogue, actually. It's uh, information about a country. But we need to use, guys, the, C, the passive without by, and we need to use the verbs that are in parentheses. So I, I oh. want your help, guys. Teacher, yes. only is, um, how do you say cambiar? Change. Change. Yes. The present, a past, the verb. Exactly. Exactly. Only. Only that. As long as you know what is, what, but it's not the past of the verb, Anita, it's the past participle of the verb. Uh, yes, I mm -hmm. this is only change the verb. Uh huh. Exactly. No, the construction, the no, ex um, not a construction of the sentence. You're right. Oh. Mm hmm. Okay. Very good. Okay, guys. So we're talking about many crops. Many this crops. Has, um. Mm -hmm. Crops. Okay. Crops. Robert. Guys, this is present. Ed. Uh huh. Uh, we're going to do it together right now, Anita. Okay, uh, many crops. This is singular or plural, guys? Plural. 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 So, if we're going to transform into the passive plural. form, what will be the plural verb to be for crops? Uh, many, many crops. Many crops. R. 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 Very good. So, it's R. going to be R. R and what and remember that the verb is grow, right? So what is the past participle of grow? Grow. Grown. Grown. Very good. Grown. R grown in Taiwan. Oh. Okay. Mm. Some crops, A, hey, and we have the, the verb consume. Okay. Mm. We continue. Some mm. crops are or is, guys. R. 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 All right. Um, what is the past participle of consume? Consume. Yeah, exactly. Consume. That, remember that that is a regular verb, okay? We're using both, guys. Very good. Okay. But luckily, but others, and we have the verb export. So we continue with, uh, with uh, R. R or R. is? R. 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 What? Others are. Why others? R what? R exported. Remember? Yes. Exactly. Very good. And then we're talking about tea, a beverage. Is grown? Is grown. It's grown. Very good. In cooler part of the island. And rice? It's cultivated. It's cultivated. It's cultivated. Like that? Yes, of course, right? In warmer parts, fishing is also an important industry. A wide variety of seafood. Hey, the verb is catch. Is is or are? Ah, uh -huh. are you sure? No, is is because we're talking about variety of seafood variedad. Is. Hey, what is the verb? Catch. Like that? Yeah, that's the regular verb, exactly. And, no. hey, what about yeah. chip? Chip in. Is is or are? 
Yes. 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 And what is the pass of chipped? Chipping. With one P or with double P? Double P. Very good. All over the world. Many people employed. Many people. Are or is? Are. Are. Are, are you are. sure? No. Yes. Is. It is simple. Uh -huh. yes, no people. Re remember the countable and uncountable nouns. Yes, it's employed. It's employed. It's employed. It's employed. It's employed. Very good. So you see, guys, how we use the passive without by? Okay. Is it easy? Excuse easy? me. Yes, go ahead. Uh, the verb catch in the past participle is caught. Cut. Uh-huh. Okay. Are you sure? Yeah, because it's an irregular verb. Are you sure? Yeah, 100%. <laughs> I knew it. Okay, I always want somebody to let me know, but you know, I know that Amilcar. I know that catch, cut, yeah. cut. I know that. But I want you guys. I want to make sure if you know that. Okay. So that was a tricky part. Remember that yesterday I also did a tricky thing. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. Today as well. Okay, because I want you guys to have clear in your mind which verbs are regular and which verbs are irregular. Uh, yeah, so in this case, the only way is that you study as a milker did. The pass yeah. of catch is not even, catch it. It's even when we are talking about people, we use are. Uh huh. Because we are talking about a lot of people. Uh, depends. When, yeah, but I did the platform. Mm -hmm. Exercise, yeah, and I used R. Really? Yeah. And it works. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. That's what I like. Excellent, Mr. Amilcar. Give it all five for that. Woohoo! There you go. Okay, so guys, so in this case, it's going to be. Let me go back, and I will go back and let you know. So it's going to be is caught. Okay, is caught. Variety of seafood. Okay. Very good, very good, Amilcar. Congratulations. Okay, so this is what I want you to do. I will send you right now the homework, guys. And the homework is really nice. Let me let me let you let me send it to you, and then I will explain to you what are you going to do. So bear with me for a couple of minutes. Excellent job, Mr. Amilcar. Great job. He's my right hand, by the way. <laughs> Okay, do you get the job? Uh, the, the job, oh my goodness, yes. <laughs> the homework, guys? Yes. yes. Yeah. Okay, yes. cool, yes. cool. This is what I want you to do, allow me just a couple of minutes. There you go, okay. Okay, I'm gonna explain it to you right now. Okay, guys, this is what I'm going to, what I want you to do. I want you guys to pick one country. I don't care which country will be, will be, could be Italy, could be Spain, could be Guatemala, Nicaragua, Costa Rica, any country, okay? And then if I send it to you, some questions. What is it located? Where is it located? Donde está ubicado? What cities are found there? Que ciudades se encuentran ahí? What languages are spoken? What currency is used, etc. okay? And that, those questions will help you to, uh, as a guide, girls as como una guía, as a guide, to create a paragraph, exactly like the one that we have done, casi como lo que hemos hecho ahorita, okay? I want you guys to make a short talk, like the one that we just did, about any country that you choose. But guys, don't say the country name, okay? Because the purpose of this exercise is that we, the rest of the people, the rest of the classmates, we need to guess which country you are talking about based on the information that you're going to create uh, answering the, the questions that I sent it to you right now, okay? Do you understand yes. what you're going to do? Yes. yes. Okay. Yes. Any, any yes. people in the class? Name, name, and age. How do you say adivinar? Guess. 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 Yes. So the guess and the place 
Exactly, Anita. Exactly, Anita. Beautiful. Yeah, full. Mm -hmm. For example, Sample. Anita, you can, you can um, put paella. it. Exactly, uh -huh. exactly. Uh, the place is the same. Uh -huh. But we don't know. Okay. So you, so you just need to mention the things for, uh, about that country and we need to, create, uh, to guess who you're talking or which country you're talking about. But guys, we, you need to use passive without by, okay? The topic that we have seen today and tomorrow we're going to evaluate it, okay? Okay, okay guys, I'm sorry, but time passed really fast. Woohoo! Yeah, I'm sorry. I know you love me. I love you too. But I need to be with another guys, by the way. Okay. <laughs> okay, guys. It was nice to have you in today's class. Great, great job, guys. I'm so happy that you have done a tremendous job in today's class. Also, my right hand. Yeah, he's good with verbs, you know. Mm -hmm. Very good. <laughs> Hopefully, you get much better, Amilcar. Okay, you feel much better tomorrow. Hopefully. Thank you. Hey guys, so hugs and kisses. And see you tomorrow. Thank you. See you. See you tomorrow. See you. See you.